I'm your host, Derek Sommer, and I've got with me Doug Peterson. Still here. <laughs> um, so I, I think this is going to go up before the week. So we might already be energetic and into things because, like, literally we've just taped five episodes in a row. Right. Doug's at a six. What did you say you were at? Or five. Six and a half. So he's at a six and a half out of ten of drunkenness. So he's still here for now. Here, right. Hey. Um, so the vapor teeny. This is the vapor teeny. So right. the Eric in a, on Facebook posted a, a link to the vapor teeny, mm-hmm. and they had it was at a show, and there was somebody recording it from mm-hmm. Geekbeat TV, and somebody being the host. And so it got me thinking. I need to try this too. And I have an alcohol show, so why the hell wouldn't I get one? I don't know. And I have a store. Why the hell wouldn't I know how much this is going to cost to sell? I don't know why. Uh, there's no good reason, my friend. That's why I message the go the the folks at Vapertini and I said, hey, send me one of these things. I want to evaluate it. Put it on the show. That gets in the press. Plus, I can see if it's something that people like. It's yep. kind of weird. Yeah. And then maybe we sell. Okay. The problem is I have to the minimum quantities. I have to spend four hundred dollars to to be able to stock enough of these okay. minimum. So what this is is you you take a product, a, a distilled spirit. Yep. They they suggest something that's like forty to hundred proof or more. One fifty one, for instance. So not schnapps. Schnapps probably not a good idea. Yeah. Rumple mints. <laughs> no, rumple mints. Oh. Rumple mints would work fine. Yeah. Um, I oh, used. Oh, you should have tried rumple mints. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe later. I wanted yeah. to, I wanted yeah. to have a. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool Andy's mint. Yeah. I wanted to start with a uh, more of a neutral something that had flavor. Like yeah. So I'm using Jim Beam's Devil Cut. Okay. Devil's Cut, right? So I'm Double taking cup. Devil's Cut and Double cup. Devil Cut. Devil Cut. That's right. Double so cup. what you do. You, it, now, I got this thing in the mail, right? So my initial evaluation was just looking at it. And it's a it's a sh- like a stainless Ooh, steel. That is hot. A little bit. A little stainless steel. Um, uh, I want to call it sheet metal or whatever it is. It says Vapertini on it. So they've, they've put their logo. They, they, they put work into this, it right? Looks very nice. And But this, this was the funny part. This is just a, it's a pint glass. Yeah. And then they, they etched it. Yep. It doesn't even feel like an etch. They print it. Oh, it might be an etch. They put something. Somehow they got their logo on there. Mm-hmm. Tea light, yeah. something to hold it, and a glass bubble. It has a hole in the middle. So what yeah. you do is you take the little funnel, you put it in yeah. the top, yeah. you drop your alcohol into that. Yeah. You let your alcohol sit for two to three minutes, maybe four minutes, and it starts to stream down the edge as you can see all the, the legs. Yeah. Right. So what you're doing is you're you're basically you're boiling, not boiling, you're heating the alcohol enough that mm-hmm. the, the alcohol starts to rise out of the, mm-hmm. the rest of the product. Mm-hmm. There's still water in there because water is mm-hmm. going to heat too. Right, it's a boiling point thing, I guess. So you're rising water and alcohol and aromas mm-hmm. into this little vessel here, this little tube. Mm-hmm. Then what you do is you take the glass straw it comes with, mm-hmm. and you you inhale it like this, mm-hmm. like um, like you're like a bomb. <laughs> It's like you're freebasing, right? And so, so, here. Yeah, no. because you've done that. And how many blood cells? <laughs> you don't burn any blood cells. cells. <laughs> there's, there's no, there's no blood, there's no cells killed. You're no brain cells killed in the process, because all it's doing is starving your brain. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's music. It has to be one of both. No, you ba- well, like that's what you're doing by inhaling the alcohol. Whether this is necessarily safe for massive use. Whatever. Um, what you're basically doing... Yeah. It's legal. Oh. It's legal, right? Oh. You're taking the alcohol, you're bringing it to your lungs, and then mm-hmm. it's going into your bloodstream immediately. Mm-hmm. Right? So what that does is... They're, I'll tell you their selling points. First off, no calories. <laughs> Duh. Right? Secondly, their, their argument, and this can... It depends on where you search, but their argument is... <laughs> True. Old. Right. All right. <laughs> so if you're not looking for calories, um, their argument is you you can you are more responsible when drinking because it's immediate. So if you suck a lot of that up, you're gonna get you're, you're gonna get a little lightheaded. Get right. So you're getting drunk faster. So it's more responsible instead right. of drinking ten drinks and then going oh wow I'm super drunk. Right. Now there's only an ounce in there. So you can if you wanted if you drank that entire thing and digested it immediately you're still not gonna get drunk. Yeah. But it's enough that you should, you know, you'd have to suck down this whole thing. Yeah. It's still kind of cute, but you get the you get the aroma still, right? Yeah. Like you're getting, you're getting that oak, that oak flavor yep. in your in your lungs. I don't know if it's necessarily in your lungs, but it's throughout your whole yep. nasal passage because yep. it is air. Yep. 
Yeah. And you get that, that sharp oak, yeah. and you're getting that bourbon. Alcohol poisoning in less than 90 seconds. But you can definitely, there's, there's a couple of issues. First off, they're not quite sure how this works in a blood alcohol level scale, whether it's good or bad. It could be, we don't really know. True that, right? But you will definitely get, here's the deal. You don't get hungover, right? So there's no hangover. Um, you definitely, I can already feel like a little bit of like lightheadedness. Like you're still, it feels like I just took a couple shots 10 minutes ago. Because you know you get that lag and the whole digestive system gets in the way. So this gets it right to where it needs to get too quick for that stabilization of your of your drunkenness, right? The other thing is some See, people say- See, I want to try this like when I'm- Right, that's why I was, I was kind of, well, you are already drinking by then anyway, but we, it's not going anywhere, so we can continue to do tests. Okay. Like tomorrow morning. Like tomorrow Light morning, right? <laughs> you just wake up and you start cooking it up, Breakfast right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, how about like, uh, like Monday? Or Monday. Monday night. Monday night, we could do Tuesday. That Tuesday yeah. night. Tuesday morning. All of them. Tuesday right? morning. I think it's going to take you a long time to get really drunk on it, but mm -hmm. you get that feeling quicker. Like, because it doesn't have to go through your digestive like system. Nitrous. Yeah, so you're immediately <laughs> you're immediately at that level. So if, if, if you go over to your buddy's house and they've had a beer, and they're like, oh, I'm feeling kind of nice, and you take, you, you suck down some of that, you're going to also feel kind of nice, but you're going to feel it immediately. Yeah. The counter argument to that is most people like to drink their spirits. Yeah. Right. People like the idea of the enjoyment because when you drink a spirit, you're getting all the sensations. You're getting the smell. You're getting the taste. This is for the people that like bong hits. Right. <laughs> but yet, it's still a neat, a neat product, and in, in the way that it's Hello, different. Yeah. Exactly. Um. It well, could be sold like a hundred thousand or something. Yeah, they, they've they've done a lot of sales. Which is all college campuses. <laughs> At the same time, <laughs> yeah. The argument being that it could be, it could lead to overuse. Like you could get, you can do something stupid on it. Yeah, you could sit there with it. Forever. My argument is, you could do that with anything. You could do a line of seven shots right now, right? If you do a line of seven shots in about ten to twenty minutes, you're gonna really wish you didn't. But it's too late. <laughs> Right. So, and everybody has been. Well, most people have been there. So, at some point, you're not necessarily having a good time with that anymore. Hmm. Don't try yet or not. This year, oh yeah. yeah, we've been sucking on it for a while. Hmm. So, you're gonna probably get a little bit drunk, but it it, it goes away quicker. And you get that, uh, that bourbon, like that oak. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Weird. Besides the fact that you want to baseline it. Mm -hmm. No, I, it, it, it's, it's one of those things that I would like to see the chemistry behind it. The chemistry is easy. You're sucking alcohol in. I would like to see how the the heating of that, like, actually... Oh, okay. So, so you can it's, see it. So it's, it's, it's like a mini still, right? So yeah, they, except for they, you're not catching it. It's going back they, down. Like, they heat it up, and then it, it goes into the cooling tubes, and then exactly. it, it, it comes out. And, and this is the cooling that, tube. You're, you're actually you're, you're taking in the vapor that contains the ethanol. The, the chemistry right. is pretty simple. This is cooler than this. Yeah. So it, it hits up here, and it falls back All down. Right. But the concept... Yeah. Now, for me, I like to drink my spirits, but yeah. at the same time... As looking at it from a sales perspective or looking at it from a neat novelty perspective, yeah. I don't think I'm going to stop drinking alcohol because this exists and it's faster to get to my system. Because as most people know, my goal isn't to get drunk really fast. It's yeah. to enjoy the, the flavor. Yet at the same time, it's cool enough that just to, to have this, it's kind of like an absinthe fountain. You don't necessarily need an absinthe fountain, but you can have one, right? Nor it's, do you necessarily need absinthe. Right. Oh, it. So accessorizing yourself, and my candle's kind of going down, but it's neat, and I was wondering what people thought, a, a reaction, because you're going to get those that go, dude, that's going to kill you. There's going to be doctors that are like, that's going to kill you. My only counter argument at this moment is soda cigarettes and pot. Everything else that exists, they all go through your lungs, right? Usually, unless you're eating or brownies. Food. food will kill you. Right, food will kill you. Talk McDonald's. To that has like diabetes. Yeah, Doc, McDonald's will kill you if you. So that argument doesn't hit it's me not as hard. Even McDonald's. No, but if I eat a lot of it, I'll die. I think I've seen that movie. It's pretty funny. Uh, Super Sizer. Yeah. Okay. Right. But what my argument is anything in massive quantity. Have you quantity, seen uh, uh, Super High Me? No. Yeah, dude, like just goes on like a pot binge. Does it work? 
I don't really know what that's going to do to you, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that's actually better for you than going on a food binge. But I am definitely got the lightheadedness going on, and I think it's going to dissipate quickly because I've done tests before. Yeah. So my major reaction was, what do people think of it? You can tell me how it's bad for you, but everything in what we do is bad for you. It's if We do drink alcohol, right? So that's not good for you. Aspartame, again, not good for you. So let's not let's not get the alcohol into pour in there. It would be bad. Someone calls BS on the claims of no calories and no hangover. I would I don't I I would argue that there's no calories because I don't understand how you would get them. To get calories, you need to digest them, right? To convert them to energy. So if you breathe that, yeah, how do you get but calories? In in theory, if you are inhaling ethanol. Mm -hmm. um, that contain sugars. Okay. So. But where do they go? Into your bloodstream. And then they're digested in your bloodstream? Yeah. Like, where do they go? Like, do they just float around in there? Like, I'm a sugar. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Uh, does that add it calories? Your intestine to be, so yeah. to be yeah, yeah, so I, I'm confused because, the metabolism. Because al alcohol at, at its purest form is, is fermented sugar, right? Right. So to get the alcohol... It has to have some caloric value. I would, which I always thought made sense until it's in your lungs and it's not in the same. It's not being metabolized the same. So I don't. I'm not going to say I don't that it's yes or no. It just doesn't make sense to me that it would have calories. Hmm. I mean, do you have calories when when smoking a cigarette? When I smell chocolate, I don't think. Uh, the the <laughs> cigarette does not have any ethanol in it. But if I eat five cigarettes, then I not is that not there's no calories in five oh, yeah. cigarettes? Yeah. You, you, there are calories. That's there. where I'm confused. Like, I don't, I, that, I'm a little lost on. Hangover thing, I'm not quite sure of, because a hangover, I don't know, because hangover has sugar, it's a removal of vitamins. There's a lot of things that, that create a hangover that aren't alcohol. Yeah. It's the, re, this, the side effect of having alcohol, right? Yeah. yeah. The dehydration, all that. So, again, they say it doesn't have, uh, doesn't have that. There's not enough medical studies to really say one way or another on any of those. I think they gotta put people in a room. Well, you put people in a room, they do weird things. Yeah. Like make them, like make them start smoke breathing that, out yeah. of this. Yeah. There. Yeah. I don't really. I think from a reaction like standpoint, one dude has bourbon, one dude has vodka, and one dude has. See what happens. Uh, apple Absolutely. juice, and one dude has water. I'm That's right. <laughs> no, I'm. Dude, you get a little bit of a dizziness from that. Like there is definitely a dizziness from that. Immediate. Okay. I baselined it, and I'm a little dizzy. He was already there. So we'll we'll play with this and um, just get, let me let me know what you guys think. Uh, if it's something that you'd actually buy, if it's something that sounds neat but you really wouldn't look at it, the MSRP is thirty dollars for the whole setup. Light candle. I mean, you're gonna need more candles, but you have to get those on your own. Glass, glass, metal, whatnot. So there you go. What do you guys think? That is this entire you know, thing you is could a question. Break this and like stab somebody in the neck. With. <laughs> you could. That person would then punch you in the face, I think. So this itself is a question of the day. And then I guess as a second follow-up, what would you put in it? What would be the thing you'd want to ingest? Is it ingest? Inhale. Inhale. And uh, and no cocaine doesn't count. Or whatever else you put in there. Mouth. Done. We're done. EverydayDrinkers.com. We'll teach you how to drink. Maybe. I don't know what you're going to do that. We'll teach you how to breathe. <laughs>